Uh, what's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Empire or the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we're intercepting some of these Dutch troops that are currently trying to raid my territory in Brussels. And we're also going to draw in this garrison force here at uh, Rotterdam. So we've got a lot of elite troops so it would be nice to take them out. So let's crack on. I've been given quite a good idea, I think. Uh, so in Italy, I was concerned about attacking Venice because then it gives me a front line with Prussia. Uh, but it was, it, I think, the, well, the suggestion that was given was that I take Venice but then give it to someone else. So I deprive the Dutch of income plus I don't have a front line with a, with a new enemy, which is I think is a good idea. And I think I've settled on Russia, even though they are the uh, <laughs> they are the enemy, the ally of my enemy. I think I'm less like less at risk from them, maybe. But anyway, before I go mad and before I screw up my deployment, let's draw a basic front line. Let's not go crazy. We don't know where the enemy is coming in from, or where the reinforcements are coming in from. So yeah, it's just kind of set up a bit, a bit defensively. Okay, so the de the defend the uh, reinforcements are coming in from way over at the back. Okay, this is a bit awkward as far as deployment goes. Well, artillery is not going to be super useful. I mean, they're probably going to suicide their general in. That's quite common when the AI doesn't have much opportunity to actually put up a fight. Push my cavalry up the flank, all of it. Make sure my ranged cavalry is firing well off. My skirmish formation is going to stay out wide. Oh, another unit of artillery. Pull them back over to the main formation. Swiss Mountain Jaeger. They're going to start engaging our troops, but we will soon be in a position to engage them. So there's enemy cavalry plus lots of Holland Guard. Which look pretty good. I do like Holland Guard. Okay, the Swiss Mountain Jaegers. Yeah, they've advanced up into range of my battle line, so they will likely not be around for very long. Unsurprising really, that's quite a lot of fire to withstand. Okay, right, where's one of my skirmish units? Okay, if they're going to be defensive, I'm going to be offensive. Deploy you separately, plus the Israeli on the flank. The two skirmish units that aren't currently deployed, get them to run. Push up my Lancer cavalry, my range cavalry, push up behind as well. My Felian can hold out near the town. Enemy artillery is engaging us. So my gun line limber up. Unlimber, I should say. That's my other fleeing unit. There's one. Oh, I accidentally ran you into my front line. That's okay. Charge the general's bodyguard. No, nope, they've elected not to. Well, you're going to stay in the front line, even though you're not super useful. Let's maybe run... Skirmish cavalry out on the flank. My lancers push up onto the high ground. My guns are opening up. My general... Let's get them in a better position. And my native mercenary units 
You're getting inside, breaking windows, and opening fire. So let's pick targets for my guns. Probably going to be lots of units towards the rear. I mean, the Dragoons, you're more than welcome to charge. Lots of this right flank can form square. Heavy cavalry is going to fall upon their rear. You men form square. Charge the counter. Charge the Felline in. Skirmish cavalry engage. Hold on guard. You're going to check the militia then, just because the generals move it out of position. The militia are wavering. Could get a cheeky break, which we do get. Pull my cavalry out, so I don't want to get involved in a proper slugfest there. Most Aurelius Square is broken, Feline are here. Go and guard Dragoons. Sword infantry will deal with you fellows. Swing my native name my native lances north. Infantry push up, including my skirmishers. There we go. So the Redmond of Horses being engaged, the guns are being engaged. That Dragoon unit's a bit. It's a bit. No, oh no, they've been obliterated. They're down to 23 men. Yeah, they're out of commission. Excellent, Feline, just push up. Everyone's engaging the Holland Guard, although you guys, it would help if your fire at will on. So then you can at least engage with bow fire. And here comes the bows. Desert Camel Mercenaries, engage the 12 foot guards. Gonna be funny. Make sure my general's fire will off. This Feline is just sat there soaking up fire. Yeah, this fire, this action here is still okay. Come on, you men. Make ready with your blunderbuss gun things. It's a rip. Lots of shots hit the the wall. Let's not try and go mad with my artillery. It's probably just hold by actually go for the general's bodyguard. Advance up one unit of skirmishes. There we go. Bring up my heavy cavalry. Skirmish cavalry is broken. Let's poke fire a lot of stuff here. You went slamming to the general bodyguard. We're going for the camel. Uh, we're going for the uh, Holland Guard. Keep attacking. We want them to definitely die. Get the, yeah, the camels are fire at will off. Enemy general's fallen. Holland Guard that's currently escaping. So militia, Scotsmen, plus Holland Guard. Yeah, they but they're being surrounded. We may take more losses than we would like, but we will still claim overall victory. Felin are stoically absorbing the fire. Let the fire fall where it may. Excellent, you've knocked out a unit of Holland Guard. 
Yeah, they're firing upon my native lancers. It's really if hit them in the flank. Around that last unit of Scots, even my light infantry. So Pizzle Bashi, they've held, held together nicely. And there goes the Scots. All of you fire will. Oh, although, to be honest, nah, we probably want to carry on. them with musket fire. Excellent. Come on, knock out the last of this unit here. Those conscripts have all spread out so they are likely to escape. This unit of Scots are going down. Yep, it's everyone versus this unit of conscripts. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. There's some up here, some down here. May or may not be lucky. Yeah, unlucky. Still, it was a good good battle against a fairly elite enemy, comp enemy force component. Down 300 men, so back to Amsterdam you go. Prussia's going to Prussia. I'm hoping... Well, if I, I'm hoping that, because I won't have a proper front line against Russia, that Russia wouldn't screw me over in such a way. Or do I give it to some random country in the Americas? Although, I'm at war with most of them. I can give it to the 13 colonies, so I'm trading with them. It's not a bad idea. Here's the Cherokee. They're pushing our direction, and they are more than welcome to. Come on, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. We need to make some good progress here. 99,000. Yeah, you're going to hold. Just wait for them to come to you. Fleet arrives. Yes, you've come back for repairs. Let's put you into Pondicherry. Excellent. Another fleet arrives. There's a trade fleet, so you guys are back here as well. New town emerges in Granada. Yeah, craft workshop it is. Also get our plantation production flying high. You men keep pushing towards Antigua. Enemy force in the way. Get at Panama. I probably want to recruit. If we're going to recruit a backup force, let's do it at uh, Caracas, because then at least you can deploy them by sea to Panama quite quickly. Construction report, steam powered cotton mill. I know we've done, the, done that. Place of state. Georgia's upgrading the tobacco plantations. And the port's been upgraded. They need to keep driving our economy development because we are when things are when things go wrong it's going to go badly wrong lose lots of lots of top tier buildings being constructed and that's great come on let's yep there we go so you chaps can replenish so, the challenge of going for Prussia is if I go for Cologne now, like I want to, I'll have that Prussia front line. And I really don't want it. So if I go for Venice and attack it, if I give it to 13 colonies, Prussia may well just declare war on the 13 colonies and take it anyway. If they do, then at least I've got the bridge south of Venice, so if they try to advance, I can try and engage them in some bridge battles. It's still going to be dicey because they're going to have a lot more 
firepower than I will have. So I'll have to keep pouring men into the front. Eventually we will wear them down, but it's it, it will be <laughs> it will be a challenge. So we need to keep our armies being generated in India and sent forward. It may be easier to send them to France and fall upon their western front if that's required. But let's take our forces here and advance in quite a steady fashion. We may lose some to enemy to friendly fire, but we're going to be driving forward ahead quite driving forward quite quickly. It's quite far, so I expect some of them not to make it. But we may get some. And it's curious that I'm getting. Fire against quick climb against our union of guns. We've lost 10 crewmen. Sort of accuracy, which is just which would never be seen with mortars if we use them. They fire all over the place. Actually, no, you might, you might stay where you were. You can fire into the Light Dragoons. Hindu Musketeers are ready to fire. There we go. So now volley fire present. Although not volley against cavalry. It's curious. Okay, there we go. A bit more, a bit more sound. We lost a good chunk of Hindu Musketeers there. The, the, the gun crews are now being engaged by musket fire, militia, armed citizenry. Keep advancing. The dragoons are causing problems, but they are more of a speed bump. They are getting shot off their horses, but again, it's cheating because we can't do our advanced firing drill. Yeah, they're not nothing to be sneezed at. Hindu Musketeers have just got obliterated by Quickline. Camel Nomads storm in. Keep the cavalry and so on pushing. The militia have been repulsed. The Grenadier Guards are charging in by the looks of it. So we'll match them with our melee troops. Oh no, they've changed their mind. Engaging them in the back. Come on, Sipahi and Skirmish Cavalry. We need to get around into the. Get around into the armed citizenry. Most of the enemy fire will tidy itself up. Sipahi into them. Skirmish Cavalry push up to the rear. Now they've, they've about faced into my armoured lancers. They're very upset. Grenadiers are withstanding a lot of fire. Yep, yeah, they've, they've fallen. So my skirmish cavalry lob arrows over this building. Volley. Oh no, they've gone into the, the cavalry's charging in as well. So let's bring more mounted units to bear against this last militia unit. I mean, the challenge is, thinking about it, they may well not give up.
They may well, 13 colonies may well not want to take Venice. Storm in. Don't give them time to regroup. So that's the Grenadier Guards, they've been hit by my armoured cavalry. Camels are coming in as well. How about you? I mean, you you're avoiding what's going on. Why well, keep shuffling this way? Eventually, they'll not see me. <laughs> you know, but they broke just like the rest. Fall upon the rear of the Grenadier Guards. Yeah, that's the end of them. Oh, the Indian Musketeers back up the camels against the militia, although they're probably going to do a real number on them. I mean, these Grenadiers aren't going to last very long, surely. There's 50 of them. There they go. See, he killed one. Get him! They're excellent. Right, so we need to give away this territory. Because we don't want it. Yeah, I was just about to say it's taking a little bit long to take over there. But it has. Because they. I, I, I mean, I, I really don't want it. So if I do. Diplomacy 13 colonies for Britain. Offer Venice. I mean, let's see if I do Venice for Ireland. Nah. For a minute there, I thought they were going to go for it. Offer Venice. What tech have you got? None. Cool grand. Oh, they really don't want it. Regions. Oh, that's India. Venice. Just give it to them. So an agreement is reached. Oh, they're out there at war with pressure anyway, actually, so they may well. Uh, they will probably lose it. But e even if it just rebels and becomes an independent Italian state, that's an improvement. Right, okay, so. The town emerges. Oh, we've done all this. India. So I did notice over here you already. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to have to just swarm Europe. Bring more armies to bear. Get a get a bunch of Jebex recruited here in Ceylon. General Spahi Spahi Lancer Kizobashi. Three more, how, three foot artillerymen. Let's get two Hindu warriors. Good. Yeah, we just need to. When we come to fight the likes of Prussia, we're going to be getting. We're going to be maybe winning battles, but we're going to be doing it at great cost. So we need to do this in the way that. India traditionally fights battles in Empire Total War, and that's with numbers. 24, 24, great gun. 24, two Islamic swordsmen, cool. You're starting to recruit from Hyderabad and, and others. You're going up to, up towards Calcutta, so you need three Kizilbashi effectively just to mix things up. Three there, good. Dervishes to here, mercenaries to there. You're all still going well. Two Hindu warriors. You're probably going to this guy. Uh, 
Because we may need to invade Great Britain at some point as well. Well, we will likely need to invade Great Britain at some point. So that fleet's repairing. Yeah, I'm going to need to start churning out more battle fleets. So let's recruit a batch of steam of first rate ships of the line, make them admirals, and then just start to really stack up fleets. Because you're recruiting lower tier fleets. Most of our path block stuff's okay. In fact, if Cherokee really want to go after us, then they can. You're not going to follow that movement. You're going to challenge this unit, then push on to Chikasa. Be cool. And she's going to fight them. Everything all seems to be going okay down here. Santo Domingo is now mostly Islamic. Yes, Egypt is very, very potent for us. Although Egypt may become a a uh, depository for <laughs> units to fight in the Balkans. So if, we, if we're only at war with Prussia, we can take Istanbul off their hands and potentially Athens. What about Greece? Protector of Dagestan. Actually, no, you might want to disembark and form our own invasion forces here. Yeah, four of those. You got any melee troops? Two Fellaheen, two dervishes. Let's get some Kurdish hillmen as well. Good, and that'll be another army <laughs> ready. Cairo. Just build one general's bodyguard for now. Damascus. You want to get one Kurdish Hillman, plus, plus a gun, plus... Oh, can you not get recruit dervishes? That's unfortunate. If I move you guys out of the city, you can recruit dervishes remotely. Although they're going to take a while to get here. I still want them. A Hillman, a gun, two dervishes, plus... Camel gunners, I suppose. You are going to here. It's probably stack up with stack up with pairs first. Got a pair here, a pair here, and a pair here. And you're all done. Ankara, you could probably do with recruiting your own units to help the front. Good. Yeah, I don't want to attack Cologne until I'm ready. Although when I attack Cologne, I'm probably going to want to start pushing from the west here. And really, these guys must be suffering hugely from attrition. So let's use one of my agents to have a look. Oh, will he get in there? Whew. Oh, he got detected. Okay, let's get him out of there. I think pathfinding is becoming a bit of an issue here. Because at some point I need to knock out these guys so these three armies can push. Uh, let's build another madrasa in Paris, even though we've got two or three at the minute. I want more agents to spread the word of Allah around the world. Especially in Europe. Okay, you're ready. There's an army nearby in case you're needed. This army in Madrid is okay, but it's not great. It's really not ideal. So you may join this army to act as extra firepower. 
go ahead and join them. Right, I don't think there's much I can do except hit and turn. In terms of tech, yeah, machine rifling might help, but it doesn't look like it'll get us any new units. Yeah, there go the extra recruited units. But even if, yeah, even if uh, Venice rebels in favour of a independent Italian government, I think that's worth doing. And ultimately, I should. Pr I, I want them to attack me, because if I attack them, I need to kill them within. Yeah, Prussia could well just take Venice. But yeah, I, I, if I attack that um, Dutch cluster, well, I'd need to be super aggressive with it, I guess. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. They're just going to run around us. Yeah, they've fallen back. So I'm going to push on into the Cherokee Territory. I'm going to move troops from Caracas around Panama. I don't know where you say you can't go anywhere. You're all going down here. Okay, you're ready. Get you over to the west. Let's just bring these these uh, Hindu warriors southward. New port emerges. Puerto Puerto Bello in Panama. Handy. Yeah, two colonial infantry. So that this force can be dispatched. Oh yeah, land at the new port, run all the way up towards Costa Rica. There we go. And we've got garrison, we've got a, a cover for Puerto Bello. In which case, you push on to Antigua. Hello, there's a colonial army. Anselmo Alvarez. Interesting. Butch Casa under siege. Very depleted force structure here. You're going to push up and demand the surrender of Teleco. We will take Chikasa. Just do a bit of admin. Infrastructure's good. Get Savannah. You're upgraded. New Granada. Again, I'm going to be. I'm recruiting so many new armies. I mean, I'm kind of ca not counting on losing them, but I'm expecting I will lose them enough that I won't need to uh, quite so aggressively patrol. Uh, well, I'll lose them so frequently that I can. I, I may. I may get occasional bits of breathing space. Because you were looking at Agvik, Agvik, Agvik took, but you'd like I'd like another army ready to help you out. Lots more ship recruitment. I'm not going to sort this out. I'm going to let this happen as the end turn ticks over. Right. So I don't. I mean, I need to clear these guys out. Clearly. But I, I want to get some idea of what stands against us. So if I infiltrate Turin. They're not going to let us. Well, I think now is effectively the time to uh, begin our attack into Turin from the south. He's got, yeah, if that's any indication, that's very good. I see you men replenish. You men go on attack. Troops to the north. Again, if that's any indication, that's very positive. I expected them to be depleted. I just didn't want to count on it. So you're going to push in from the north as well. So yeah, these guys, I mean, I would like... There you go. So they've got Venice under control. Andy. 
And again, actually, if I take Milan, I'm going to have a front line with Prussia anyway, so... Don't take this depleted force, even though they're actually pretty good. Form up. You men cover the bridge with support. So if I take you and attack Cremona, what does that look like? Limited. So I'd be mad to not do it. Even though I don't get any support, I'd be I'd be crazy not to do it because they're so they're so depleted, and we're only bringing we're only fighting two armies. So let's begin to slowly chip away. And I suspect when I want to take Milan, I want to take Cologne and Amsterdam at the same time, wipe out the Dutch, and start a new war against hopefully just Prussia. That would be ideal. That would be really ideal. So even though we're attacking, because they're so depleted, I might actually let them, or force them to come to me. We don't necessarily have superior firepower, but if they don't come at our guns, then our guns will just wreck their forces. I don't think they've got the strength needed to oppose us, not really. But yeah, that's an example. If the if the Dutch forces are now horrifically um, depleted, let's just put all the Sikhs on the right flank, native troops in the centre, Islamic warriors and dervishes on the left, pikes can back up the hidden native warriors. But yeah, if the if the enemy Dutch forces are completely depleted, it would that's quite handy. Kind of demonstrate that economic warfare does kind of work in Empire. So all of my gunners are going to focus on. Ooh, howitzers, icky. Up forward, up front, we push. Howitzer's bad. Howitzer quick climb. Howitzer dead. That's the general rule I'm I'm subscribing to this situation my guns are you can attack the conscripts towards the rear bring up my camel nomads to support on the left I mean if you want to go for my uh, if you want to give my guns, you can. Yeah, you guys have deployed into square. We've got pikemen coming in to support. You're running across the front of my position. I mean, Kizilbashi are, are quite a good target for them to hit. So counter charge with my native warriors. Yeah, my pikemen have counter charged the guard Dragonair. You men deploy into square. Native troops are, are chopping down this provincial horse. Then they're going to run along and attack the light hussars. Okay, ah, the dragoons. Sipahi charge the dragoons. Camels made ready. Oh, horse guard like the one of the units that you can really confidently charge them into a camel unit and know it won't really matter. So we're going to charge a camel unit in and back them up with Sikh warriors. Then our lines are going to adapt. Pull back. Pull back. Don't get out of square. More cavalry is incoming. That's a Dragoon unit destroyed. Let's do something like this. There we go. The Cursier. I mean, my camels look like they've done quite well. But moreover, I think, well, the Sieg Warrior is definitely out. So they're shattered. Camels push around the flank. 
Native warriors get ready to counter charge the Lancer guards here. Infantry get out of get out of formation. Here come the Marines. Get my Seed warriors in. Do good stuff. Come on, camels. Okay, my Sipahi go for the Blunderbuss Shotgunners because they're light infantry that can do a lot of damage. Eight of Warriors go after the Lancer Guard. Ooh, artillery might cause my unit to break. They've shat, they've shat anyway. Ooh, quick climbing in my unit of guns. Send in the Camel Nomads. Use layers of open fire at short range, but then my Seek Musketeers are going to do exactly the same once they've reloaded. There you go, bring my camels back into the fight. Charge the Fusiliers because there are not many of them. See, Musketeers cease fire. Try and get her through the combat. Excellent. Chamfer off this edge a little bit. Infantry push up. Don't, okay, you're going to chase them down, but only for a little while. Oh, here comes some of their reinforcements. Yep, here they come. See, that's part of the part of the danger here. Gunners attack. Too best I'm not sure what my gunners are gonna attack. I had to form a fairly tight column to push them through the defenses. Let's pivot the fight here. Charge the regiment of horse. Form another tight column to walk our guys out of that fight. No, get our camels. Ooh, general's bodyguard. Hello. Is that the correct general? No, it's the other general. Yeah, Sieg warriors are gonna. Sieg warriors alone would tear the provincial cavalry apart. Let alone with camel support. You make ready and fire. Another general killed. We can knock out. Oh, I hear lots of cavalry, camels, uh, cavalry dying. So if we can knock out this conscripts, this flank here. Excellent. Redeploy. Line infantry guards are down. Redeploy. Guns limber up. Swordsmen push up, dervishes push up. They've got a lot of catching up to do. Excellent, general. 
Push him up. Good. So let's get ready to face off against the next enemy threat. You're walking, that's a mistake. So you men are holding the line alone for now. One artilleryman. Guns can try to get up to the high ground. Yeah, so right now we a musket battle is a is a dangerous one for us. Okay, my camels they can push the enemy guns. plan is blue guard they look pretty neat <laughs> so fighting native and finding uh, fighting uh, Dutch troops with native warriors from the Americas Ready. There we go, the enemy getting hacked a bit. Native warriors has got some Hindu musketeers in here as well. Here comes the dervishes wielding their axes. Push you men forward. He may need to reload and make ready and blast that unit of militia. You hit the artillery, you hit the dra dragoons. So Pahi go for the line infantry. To be honest, it's a bit mad we aren't just swarming you. My general over here to help this combat and charge into rear. Get my pikemen over here as well. Oh yeah, you e men focus on the artillery crew. Come on, general. Let's get you involved as well. Glory, glory, pikemen. The blue guard don't like it. How about you? Cease the charge. Right, okay. I'm going to want to charge down, aren't I? Blue guard, I'm fairly confident they're going to be knackered. Send a musketeer over here to engage that unit of gun crew. There we go, just get, just get to uh, pursuing. Very nice indeed. Should get my cavalry. Whoops, sneezing coming. Sorry about that. So let's get my uh, focus on this infantry unit. Good. We don't want them algamating all together. Creating fresh units. Good. We executed the gun crew. Keep on after the 36th. But it looks like they are going to escape. 
I'm not sure it would be a close victory, but it was a good victory. I mean, I'll definitely take it. Nice, that's 3,200 Dutch troops defeated. They've been pushed back into the, the mess. So let's push you up. You're within range. Storm over the river. <laughs> this is kind of what I was hoping to see. It looks like we're engaging, if not all of them, then most of them. Their armies are mostly quite badly beaten up. Um, but we are calling in a lot of our reinforcements too. And this is going to be quite a large battle. I mean, I've got the numbers here. About nearly 18,000. Maybe more than 18,000. They've got 12,000. Yeah, I think this is this is going to be very much getting towards the back end of their <laughs> the existence of this cluster. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the uh, well for a significant destruction of Dutch forces. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>